Call to order. Adoption of agenda 2.1 recommendation. That council adopts the agenda. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Adoption of minutes 3.1 recommendation. That council adopts the minutes of the regular meeting held on February 16th, 2022. Second. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Introduction of late items, none. Public hearing, don't we have the read? Yeah. Huh? Late, late, late items. items. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 good, 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 good. Two under regular, one under information. Uh, 8.7. 8.7, that is the outside boost boundaries for the library. And then 8.8 .8 is appointment of chief elected officer and deputy elected officer and then 9.7 and that is just discussion that's why it's not public hearing none delegations none unfinished business business arising from the minutes Ooh, sorry that the library is supposed to be 7.1 not 8.7 change that to 7.1 please you confused me. So the library report that had 8.7 on it is yes. supposed to be 7.1, sorry. 7.1? Yes, because it's unfinished business from the last meeting. In okay. business, 8.1 recommendation. Okay. Right, we need to do the library first. Okay. 7.1? Yes, please. Library and board members outside whose boundary? Second. Discussion. Would you like me to explain it? Yes, yeah. please, Sandy. Okay. So at the last council meeting, we mo council made a motion to allow the library to advertise for members outside the boundaries, uh, and you council agreed to do it on a case by case basis. And council also asked for a letter from the government confirming that this was okay. After some digging into this, it has been brought to light that this is not the case. This is not how this works. There's legislation that needs to be addressed. Um, the library board currently has enough members on it for the board to meet their criteria. Yes, for the next two years. So the recommendation is that we rescind the motion that was made until further notice, until we need to seek members, new members. So, I will second it. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 8.1 recommendation. That council waived purchasing policy 3.1, section 10 quotations and tenders for the purpose of purchasing the new radios for Coos Duty Volunteer Fire Department. Policy 3.1 attached for reference. Second. Discussion. Question. Go ahead. Um, is all the other fire departments getting their radios from the same place too? As far as I know, yes. Is there any um, deal that can be made if we're ordering? I believe that's already included in the quote. We've, we've been given a very good deal. They initially um, are willing to give us almost $18,000 back on radios that we paid $25,000 for four years ago, five years ago, six years ago. 15. In 2015. So they're giving us more than 75% back on them. and. After the last meeting, uh, the fire chief went back to them and they sharpened their pencils some more on the quote and gave us another $6,000 off. And did Leonard or Trish? I do not have anything from them yet. From Trish? No. Um, the fire chief reached out to the PRD to ask because they had done a lot of the legwork for the radios and they had a very hard time getting three quotes. They ended up with only this one of a supplier. Oh, wow. Oh. So, um, the fire chief is, is hoping that you will excuse the uh, purchase or waive the purchasing policy because this way they're serviced here locally. 
Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, they have to be sent away, and he's been having issues with having to send stuff away, and, and it's back, been and getting it back in a reasonable time. Um, given that somebody else has done the legwork, we that's why we've asked if we can waive the purchasing policy. I, I don't see why not. In this case, all in favor of waiving the policy? <coughs> Eight point two recommendation. To go back, sorry. That council received a report about the city fire department sound system for information and discussion. Second. Discussion. Um, you have talked about using the money from COVID yes, for definitely. this. Yes. How much money have you got left out of COVID? Around three hundred thousand. No, two hundred seventy thousand mm -hmm. left. Pardon? How much? Two hundred seventy thousand. We may have a ways to go. With COVID. But don't forget this money has to be yeah, used, these funds this yeah, used, yeah. used this year. Yeah, these funds are used this year or allocated um, this year. I'm okay with that. All in favor? <coughs> Any more discussion? All in favor? Eight point three recommendation. The council received the email from a booker for information and discussion. Can I get a second? Second. Any questions? Sandy? Does everyone understand what the school board what Amanda is asking for? Yes. So this is this is the plant, the flower beds that uh, Councillor Beach was talking about. Mm -hmm. The school is not looking for any monetary donation or anything. What the school is looking for from us is support of the program. They just want support. And they're asking if our uh, summer students can water the plants for them so that it can keep going. So they do want something. Wow. Well, <laughs> and so we did bring up the issue of two unions <laughs> because that's a union thing. And um, Ms. Berker did speak to Wade Simlick and he said that no, there would not be a conflict. He doesn't have a problem with our public works watering the plants. I've talked to the public works director. Um, he does not feel there's a problem either. It'll take 10 minutes. And the picture there is where they're proposing to put the flower beds, which is that fence, fence. on, well, Amanda and I have named it Canada Day Road <laughs> for reference. Is that so oh, that's the dirt part, right? That's the dirt part they're going to put it because isn't part of that paved? No, that's all grass and dirt there yeah. under there. No, it's so, not the skate park, right? Yeah. No, it's not near the skate park. It's this across. is on the school property. Oh, okay. the boxes will be to the ball diamond. The boxes will be on the other side of the fence. Our uh, watering truck will be able just to just pull up and water over. They won't even have to enter the property. They'll be inside the fence. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, they'll be on the uh, school property. So basically, she's just asking that we support it and I don't know maybe a letter of support or and vandalism if there's anything done that's the school's responsibility that's that's what I want to know yeah it's theirs they take full responsibility for it basically she's just asking us for support that's all awesome. and watering that's cool so we'll make that motion to write a letter okay for them and give them a the letter of support second all in favor Point four recommendation. That council receives the delegation request from Northwind Wellness Center Society for information and discussion. Second. Discussion. Invite them. Oh, no, go ahead. I I would like to invite them. It'd be I'd like to hear what they have to say. Who sent this email? Does everybody? It was sent to me. 
and they emailed you? Yes. How come they didn't e email all the council? I, we, I don't. I had know. trouble getting a hold of them, so. So basically, I've put their letter on here, wanting to know if you would like to hear them as a delegation. Yes. That's one. So vote. what are they going to do? The, that's we want. They, they want to come talk, talk to you guys about it. Can we motion? I'll make a motion that we invite them as a delegation to a council meeting. Second. All in favor? What's your plans are? Not another one, or a drug and alcohol center. 8.5 recommendation. Then council review the preliminary capital and special project list for final determination. Did you email this to me? Slide my bed. Did I email what? This. 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 No? Oh. Well, I sent it out. Yeah, you should have gotten it by email. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I never got it. Uh-huh. Yeah, I should have gone to my kid. Huh? It went out. Because I, I don't put some stuff on the mirrors and I don't look at it because it's on my phone. Uh, that's probably where it went. <laughs> Did you order it? <coughs> <Yeah. coughs> Did you order my iPad? Not yet. No. Okay. Um, um, I would like us to hold off with this capital plan until we work on the we, budget. Because we can't. can't. We, need this we need the capital and the projects first. So we can decide on the rest of the funding. That's why we, we also will need to add the the sound system to this. It's not on here yet, right? Yet. Twenty-five. So now twenty-six capital projects. Did we not say that that was overwhelming for the? Um, Sandy said she had some already done. She said great letters to. It. She was okay with it. Sandy. Trina and I have been through the list. Um, and out of this, not very much of it is managed by us. The bulk of this is managed by Public Works. I'll oversee it, but it's, it's Public Works that's responsible for most of it. The rest of it is writing checks. Is it overwhelming for Public Works? No, I don't think so. I mean, it's things like purchasing a trailer and... Oh, okay. Like, it's, it's not the only thing that is um, really time consuming for public works will be the paving and even that is just a you know a couple conversations and so it, it's not everything is we've been through i think we've determined that it was pretty doable for us okay. yeah, well you guys said that at the last council maybe you did yeah. yeah so if everyone's in it does anybody see anything they want to change from the last one i mean it's the same list that we put forward all right yeah. um number 21 the three phase power that was for the uh, generator and that um, for the, for the decontamination the unit that they bought. Yeah, that's what it's called, the contamination unit. Yeah, and <coughs> it, that is just new to to the works of yes. the running of the fire halls. So Right now, what do they do for decontamination? Nothing. Hmm. They don't do anything? No. What do they do? Yeah, I think right now, I'm, they, I'm sure they've got a process. I'm not too sure of their current processes, but I know the past it was the sink and hot water, and you're sitting there shrouding. And, and that will be funded by the COVID money? Yeah. Okay. Uh, however, I believe we're looking into an option to the actually bringing the three phase power in. We're looking at an option of a portable three-phase generator that can be used in other areas. Mark. Did we not buy a generator way back when we did our emergency 
There's one over at the fire yeah, hall. We've got yes. a backup generator for the fire hall that gives them emergency power for them. It's need. not portable or anything. But and it's, it's not just portable. Is, and it's minor portable. systems, I believe. Yeah, we supply the power to the I thought we had discussed buying a generator. I believe we've only discussed it multiple times and it's never come mm -hmm. to fruition. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but this would give us maybe another option uh, mm -hmm. because I still don't have even. Uh, I have no idea what it would cost to bring in that three-phase power. We, we figured this way we could, um, they could run the decontamination and if we had to open up an emergency operations center or something, it could be used for that as well. Because there's no generator over here. So if technically, it's worded in our emergency plan right now, this is the EOC office, mm -hmm. but there is no generator. So if we went to a portable one, it could be taken wherever we need it. Oh, okay. Would that be covered by COVID? Yeah, it, it's covered under that 50,000. Yeah. We don't think it'll be that much, but we're just, we just started, we, after the meeting last time, yeah. we started talking about it and thinking, well, what if we get a generator instead? Mm -hmm. So is it? That 50,000 more to cover a three-phase generator. Yes, still but we would also that. have to uh, rewire the both the fire hall and, and yeah, this yeah. office so that it could accept it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it back, it's probably yeah. Good. so there'd be a, a bit more of a cost to it, but I feel 50000 is probably doable. Do you got quotes on that, Trina? No, we're working on it. Barbara? I have a question about 25. The steamer public works only in conjunction with the purchase of the PRRD fire truck. Have we haven't heard anything? Haven't heard anything. No. So we wouldn't do anything with it unless we hear something throughout the year. Okay. So if it's a, uh, if it's on the capital projects, does that mean it's a go? Yeah, if they not come necessarily, back? it can be pushed, okay. or changed, or dropped, or. Okay. Well, didn't we agree, Marcel, at that one meeting? Uh, we, no, uh, what the, if, what correct me if I'm wrong, Sandy, but I think what the agreement was, we agreed to send a letter to the PRD to ask them <laughs> how much they would sell it to us for, yeah, and then it, once for we got that information, then it would come back for us for discussion. If that's exactly, and then that we have that meeting, that special meeting. Yeah, no, as far as I know. Uh, we haven't heard from the PRD one yeah. or the other yet. Yeah, because they've had some staffing changes over there, yeah. so the new guy just hasn't. That's a lot. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Um, call your question. All in favor? Um, the council received a report on the 2022 NCLGA AGM and convention information. May 3rd. I would like to make the motion that if councillors want to attend, since it's in Fort St. John, they should be allowed or permitted. A second. Um, I'm just going to say yes. All in favor? So, sorry, before we, I'm just catching up on here because you know, I'm new to this and I don't speak acronyms yet. So, so what, what exactly is just so I don't Northern, really understand? Northern North Central Local Government Association is what it stands for and it's all the northern communities that get together and there's a at the time that I printed this there was no program yet I got an update uh, yesterday on it so there's different things that will be coming up uh, it starts on the third there's pre-conference tours uh, which I don't know what they are yet. It'll be in the registration. Registration is not open yet. Uh, it'll start on Friday. It's in person, right? Yes, it is in person. Mm -hmm. On the 4th, there's networking. There's the annual general meeting um, where you'll get updates from UBCM, uh, NCLGA reports. And that's Wednesday. So when do we have to um, let you know? Uh, well, registration is. opens on Friday. Okay, because Danny's not here, does she know that this is? Well, she's got the agenda, but yeah. um, I can talk to her some more about it. They probably have to work, though, except for the Saturday and Sunday. I would like to attend 
And I, I will too. So the other thing is that something that all of us can do, or is that yeah, all of us can go? Yeah, yeah. and it, this, there's speakers and stuff like oh. that, right? Yeah. Trade As stuff. I get more info, I can send it to you. Usually, there's you know flights, hotels, accommodations, but because you support St. John. Um, the only thing I would need to know is if anyone is choosing to stay in Port St. John overnight. I'll stay overnight. You do? I'm not. I'm kind of interested, but I'm going to get a little more information and double check my schedule and make sure I'm not all walking myself. Um, it opens up on Friday, so I can forward the information oh. to you. I will not be attending the supper of that that they have on Wednesday night. They usually have a dance and a supper or whatever. Yeah, at 6 p.m. there's a dinner and keynote speaker. Yeah, yeah. I won't be attending this. Because <coughs> that's an extra cost. I will be because of key, keynote speaker. Those are always good. Okay. Because I have the approval to proceed for anybody to attend, um, I will send out all the information on March 4th when it comes available and uh, work from there. Okay. Where am I? 8.8. 8.8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. Chief election office and deputy election office. Second. 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 Discussion. Sandy? Are you yes. going to be the chief election officer? No. Yes. And who's going to be the deputy? Pauline. Pauline? Yeah. So, question for you, Sandy. Mm -hmm. On top of, you know, everything else you've taken on this year. Mm -hmm. How's this on top of your plate with everything? This is my fun, this is my fun job. Okay. I like doing this. So, um, sorry. We're not very professional here. We have talked amongst us in the office, the four women, and we have come up with a plan to work this out till the election. Um, we're going to have one admin that's going to do backup for the corporate officer, as well as she's going to be doing backup for uh, finance. And Pauline is going to take the deputy position and leading up to the election, she will increase her hours. Uh, she'll just do full days until after the election. And we figure with that, the four of us, we can handle whatever's going to come our way. <laughs> if we find we're getting too busy, we'll let everyone know. But for now, we're fine. Okay. Ryan? Uh, I'll, I'll just make the motion that Council appoints Sandy Stokes as Chief Election Officer and Pauline Lateman as Deputy Election Officer. I'll second that. Now I'll there. Okay, uh, correspondence. I see here um, he had uh, an issue with the vet voucher. Did it clarify mm -hmm. issues surrounding a cat expired vet voucher? Yes. Yeah. What was that all about? Um, because so this person had a voucher that they got in October or November to get their cat uh, fixed. But when they took the cat in, the cat was too young. They found out that they missed, they didn't realize how young it was. And because the voucher went past, I guess the magic date was February 1st or something, she went back in in February and they told her that the voucher had expired. So all it was was a matter of an email between them and us confirming that it was okay to do and she has since, it's all been taken care of. Okay. No, but I have driven down um, in response to the one we got last week on Elevator Road, mm -hmm. and I did drive down to the property yesterday, and that one is pretty easy to rectify. It's the same uh, situation as over here at the park. 
I can put a request in if council is okay with it to have another light installed on that pole because the pole the pole is already there. Oh, okay. Basically, it's just getting the arm, so it's not putting another pole or anything. And I know BC Hydro has been here to start this one. Okay. They came last week and started doing something. So, um, if council's okay with it without doing the big lighting audit, I can go ahead and request for them to install that light and then at least that'll be, I, I see where she's coming from. Yeah. It's, it's you know, every, there. and it's every other pole that has a light down there. I, yeah. I went and looked and yeah. and yeah, so, but she does have a pole on her property or on the line there that they can put a light on, so it's easy enough. I'll make that motion that you go ahead and, and do that. Okay. Yeah, all in favor? Okay. Uh, Council received a letter from the City of Victoria regarding the next bill 21 for information. Thing. Okay. So I, I haven't really gotten that far. We've got the letter of support. The petition for the the e petition for Lillooet hasn't mm -hmm. gone very far. The letter of support has, but not the petition. So is somebody making a motion for a letter of support for this one? Yeah, might as well. And for Oliver too. Because that's the private right. Are you seconder? Hmm? You need seconder? Yeah. And Marcel's for, for both of them? Yeah, sure. All in favor? And and this economic plan. Yeah. Huh? What about why? Well, I have to read it. In the last two years of the pandemic, the toxic drug supply and extreme weather events have changed our lives for economic. So is this anything we have to do with this, Sandy? I don't think so. This is just, just, just information. Yeah. Okay, so then there's 9.7. Um, I got this email today and it's about transportation. Uh, Wednesday, March 9th, 4 p.m., transportation in time of climate crisis, number one, great public transportation, urban and rural. So, so I will be uh, calling in on it. Just to let you guys know, it is Chief Judy Wilson, good after it. Union of BC Indian Chiefs, Eric Gordon. Yeah. He sent it to me too. Right. Uh, 
Resolutions none, bylaws none, administration reports new. It's attached. But I have a couple things in oh, the same thing you want to <laughs> Um, I do want to ask a question. I know we're not at the budget yet, but I do just want to ask because of timeline. Is council interested in doing something for Canada Day this year? Yes. To what extent? What we do every year. Yeah. We don't have time to do that. We, we can't rent bouncy castles. We're past the deadline. So that's why it, does council want to do the full blown thing to the best of our ability or yeah. does council wish to do just the parade with maybe swag? No, I think we need the full blown. Yeah, well, yeah. We don't know what the restrictions are going to be. They're not lifted yet here. I agree. She and said that they were going to be off by summer. Be nice to at least have a parade. Oh, and definitely. Nice. Parade. And it might be something to, you know, like we did in the wintertime, like where we got like, the fire pits and people do the hot dog roasting. What if we look at doing like an old time, I guess an old time Canada Day. So instead of having the bouncy castles and all that, because, you know, we're living on time. We, we don't have time to book them. We're past the deadline, yeah. like I said. We well, didn't book those last year. Look at something that's less labor intensive, you know, look at, you know, organizing a new softball game or something like that, or do a drop-in softball game or pretend they I'm just there. thinking of staff time here in the office with everything else. That's why. I just want to know how far you guys want to go. My thoughts are just the parade. Same here. I'd do, do yeah. the whole thing, but possibly fireworks. Yeah. And I'm asking more so we can start slash so Trina knows for the budget, but Right. Um, after having said that, it is our 90th. Mm -hmm. That doesn't give us much time to plan. I know, and but I mean, with COVID, what, no, what do you plan, right? Well, it, that, that's the trouble, right? And exactly. I know you guys had said something at the end of last year about maybe just doing the Canada Day Parade at least, and maybe we get some swag that marks the 90th, and maybe we do the fireworks. Um, help. <laughs> I know we didn't really talk about work. this, it's but work. Work. can we make an extra beautiful float for our 90th? Who's going to make the float? Oh, well, I would like to be involved in that. I'll second, I'll help too. Yeah, no, I, I help every year. Do we have a special trailer that we use? Well, we're going to have a snazzy new trailer, so. <laughs> and how big is it? I don't know. You don't know? We'll have, have to ask public, we'll have to ask public works. He's waiting for the final approval of the capital and special project before he goes and sure. yeah, does all his homework. Okay. He's been doing his homework, but he's been very tight It'll with the information. It'll probably be the same one that we rented for the, the um, uh, July or August. Bonanza days, or whatever they call that, stampede days, because we've got the, the boards oh, okay. for for the side of that trailer, those trailers. Amazing. So, okay. can we have a little committee between us and a budget? Mm -hmm. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you ask her about the budget, I'll say you can have a committee. Okay. How much do you want to? I don't know. Well, <laughs> and, and that's why I kind of said it's more for the budget, but but I mean, like the time might be. We do the Canada Day, like. Um, get food trucks and stuff like that out here. Well, we could. And maybe you guys are. But what are you gonna So have who's going to do all the advertising? Who's going to do all the the legwork? Who's going to do? It's a lot. August and well, I guess July, mid July, August, September is the bad months for count for the election. Leading and leading up. To tax time, taxes. No, I, I don't expect you guys to do it. I think I think we could get volunteers and and <laughs> and do it. Okay, you think you could get volunteers? <laughs> but I, I think well, we could. I propose that we think about it and we come back to the budget. Okay, I, it was more just to put a, a plug in here. in your ear so that we know. Just so we just didn't want you guys to come to us when Trina brings the general budget and you go, oh, Canada Day, let's have Canada Day celebration. And we've got like two months to plan. <laughs> That's what we were trying to 
So, okay, why don't we? I was just saying, prior to COVID, what did we spend on just the parade? Just the parade? Because um, since we don't have, like, you know, the, you're limited of time, I'm just thinking for everything else, but I'm just kind of curious what we're spending. I don't think the parade costs us very much it's unless we provide no, swag. Just, no, I would say under 5000 We did some donations to the. We usually added decorations to the float every year, which were. Yeah. Yeah. But the whole parade was 50 grand. The Not the parade, the Canada, the Canada, 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 Canada. Canada. I think the parade might have been, like you said, 5,000. Five, I think we typically, before that, we budgeted about 5,000 for the parade. And five eight. Eight. It's and the bouncy eight. castles that cost a lot and the yeah, overtime for all the staff. Castles. And how much for fireworks? Uh, I, did we, 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 we went we did 25,000 the last the year. big year. Well, it's 90th. Yeah. Well, it's 90th. But so you'd be, right? So, you know, yeah. fireworks, if we get access. I don't even know if that's an option. What, fireworks? We'd have to hire a new... Is, Where is he? I don't know. Are we talking about Al Cameron? Yeah. yeah. Is he still around? Mm -hmm. He's yep. still doing it? Uh, he just doesn't want to be the rec coordinator, that's all. <laughs> I'm wondering if we could um, ha have someone film it for us, and then we could put it on... YouTube or whatever for all the residents. I, I know that I know people that would love to be here for the 90th, but they know that it is like over. the parade. You mean? Well, we yeah. Could, we could if we could film the parade. Yes. Yeah. That's and CJC will maybe make a little statement as council and. But I think I think Councillor Fieber's trying to make sure that the whole thing gets. Videoed and on. Well, they AR. Dawson, like they did to Dawson, right? Yeah. They did Dawson's parade. They did. It. And I mean, we have somebody on staff that loves to do photography, but she's probably busy. Wow. Well, you can ask her. Yes, we could. But do you want to? And stuff. She's a professional photographer. Yeah. Let's go. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she has to be okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I like that idea. Hi. Right, well, why don't we bring some ideas back? And, and we know well. we know that we have to start or you know kind of anyway so okay, just so you, uh, i'm still on my report did you want to set a budget for the fireworks can't really just leave it at 50 for now which are our cabinet for the fireworks for oh for the fireworks yeah well that because it's all part of the budget and there's usually a motion they make but then we have somewhere to start with because that's going to be the most expensive part okay start with the fireworks well, she's asking what kind of budget you want. Start with the 50, and we won't spend it. 50,000 for fireworks? No, 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 no for the whole thing. thing. Because if we get um, huh? well, things out here. Do 50. All well, I'm going to say 25 well, of that fireworks. It's, it was there for. But the budget not, still has to come back to you guys. Yeah, yeah this, is, have, this is just fireworks this is something, this something that's going to have to be ordered oh, wow. right away because we're going to need permits and. Yeah, well, permit comes you. from the fire chief. That's I know, easy. but it's still going to have to. And strong harm for you, too. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can reach out to uh, Mr. Cameron and ask what needs to be done. Okay. We know to get the ball rolling there. Okay. Okay. Um, I updated you on uh, the NCLGA stuff. Street renaming is um, actually an easy task. 51. <laughs> We'll bring a report back, and once council has renamed it, then I just have to reach out to the PRD, and they will help us get it on the emergency map page. She wants a 51A. Awesome. That's what she wants. 51A. Mm -hmm. That was her suggestion. Yeah. But that's what she said. 51A. I need to bring a report back. Okay. I'll bring a report back. And the community center um, inventory went very well. We are a well-oiled crew, all four of us. We just whipped through there. Um, it, the, some of the suggestions that came out of there was, uh, we did not clean, we just counted. Right. The kitchen needs a very good cleaning. We need to hire somebody to come into the kitchen and wash every dish and every cupboard and every drawer. It, it all needs to be cleaned out. Will the janitor place here that does it? I, we can reach out to them. They usually do the deep clean in there uh, once a year. They've been doing it. The last two years we haven't had it done because nobody's used the kitchen. Yeah. 
Um, but after us all being in there, it was kind of icky. <laughs> we found moths. We found moths behind signs as we ripped down a couple signs, and the moths all fell out. And uh, yeah, so can we put it in the budget well, to hire a janitor once a year to do that. I think we already kind of have that in there. Um, just it's just going to just gonna be an extra big cleaning is what we're going to do. And, and I hope we can get Pardon? some local. Are you going to get a book to tender then? The cleaning? Because mm -hmm. there's a few companies. It, it won't be in nice. excess of 3000 bucks, And it's 5000 is the limit, or 15000 is tender. Mm. But there so. is a few um, housekeeping uh, businesses out there. Yeah. But there might be some. We could put a request. We could, we could just put an ad out saying we're looking for somebody to do a deep clean on our kitchen. Yeah. Um, we don't have to give it to the company that does, but yeah, no, we, we pulled, you know, we pulled all the, the dish carts and everything out and we opened every drawer and every one of them needs to be, needs to be taken yeah. out, emptied, the drawers need to be vacuumed and wiped down and it's just, yeah, it was kind of icky. So with the deep cleaning for the kitchen there, is it the village or the, uh, School board that pays for it's the us. cleaning of the bench and all that. It's us. Because if it's something, ours. yeah, if we're going to do a deep clean on there, something to schedule that after they've serviced the fire system and cleaned the place. And that's it. Those need to be done. Oh, okay. Because that's a requirement uh, in a commercial kitchen. I believe it's every six months. But because ours doesn't get used that often, even closer to a year would be, you know, it's ultimate fire chief and fire code. But yeah, I definitely recommend cleaning the vents before we do a deep clean yeah. on the kitchen. Yeah. Because um, it could be a messy process. We had a couple suggestions. One is replacing all the cutlery. Apparently the cutlery that's in there now is very cheap and it's all flaking and food is sticking to it even though they're trying to wash it. Oh. So okay. that may be, we're going to bring a report back, I think, okay. stating what we need to do to the, um, the community center and we'll look for approval to proceed with that. So there will be a cost to that, but probably not that okay. But overall, the place was I mean, pretty, pretty clean. Or yeah, clean. It, I mean, there wasn't a lot of stuff missing. There was, Little. I mean, like tongs and wooden spoons. Well, somebody might have just thought it was theirs. Or, but like none of the great big stuff, like the big pots and the big frying pans and the big cookie sheets, that, that, that stuff was oh, all there still. <laughs> <laughs> so we were happy with that. Too. Is, is the little stove still in there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It is. It's all where you're done, Cindy. I'm done now. Okay. Action items. What's this? What's this? your big list? I have a question. Okay. Does council still wish for urban systems to draft the letter to the provincial and federal governments now that we have this uh, uh, grant in? We yeah, put it on hold while they were doing the grant because it was so labor intensive, but I just want to clarify, do you still want yeah, to? Yeah, I still think so, because you know, if they'll pay for the whole thing, why not? Okay. Right? Okay. All in favor? And this will be updated. And have you heard from Shaw or anybody? I emailed the lady you gave me the contact info. I haven't heard anything, and I can't find it. Tell us, Rep. I don't know who. Um, Barb. And, oh, sorry. Jen had it. Uh, number 15. Is yes. that the Northern Health Audit? Yes. Now, this letter, I have some information. This letter was requested by the resource municipalities. The regional, I think what it's called, regional resource. I'll have to get the information. Um, this was not requested by us, from us. This was only the members of the coalition. Oh. I was told. You see, and they told me something different, so. But you it's, I think it's entirely up to you. The way it was put back to me through the email is that it was asked for the members of the coalition to write letters of support. 
Then I and we don't that. belong to that coalition. No. Dawson doesn't, we don't. Um, that was Fort Yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, there's different members. So and, and does council that. still want the letter? No. Or? no. Uh, not that's not what I understood. But anyway, we'll just leave it for now until we okay. hear. Okay. Um, what about that um, other thing we talked about, Sandy? Interesting. Because um, it's due August 31st for us to be not putting into the um, sub subsection, sub function. Because we don't worry about Fort St. John, we don't worry about Charlie Lake. So not the sub regional. No, it was sub. It was a sub function at the PRD, and it was regarding um, us being removed from. You emailed um, me on that, didn't you? Yeah. No, I think I phoned you. Um, it was Fort St. John removing us from Fort St. John, Taylor, Chetwin, because we don't really care because it costs twenty someone. Okay. Let months. me let me look into it. Okay. Um, Okay. Uh, I don't remember why I was thinking out loud, but for that fresh air sound, huh? Yeah. Um, is that something that like, time-wise that could potentially be part of Canada here? Well, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's kind of... Do you want to tell them what you learned? I looked into it briefly. Because I have a projector and in here, so... We have a projector. Okay. It's super expensive to hire them. We're not company. Cinema people, we don't need to hire. Hmm? We don't need to hire the cinema people. Well, um, well, they look after. If you have access to get the licensing and all that kind of stuff, and you can look after that, then yeah, we can. <laughs> We've been we down do this road before. Mm -hmm. We've tried to get licensing. It is really expensive. Oh. Really expensive, like eighteen hundred dollars a movie. To expensive. Oh. Depending on what you pick, the price ranges. We tried this when Adam was here. Uh, we got a grant for the projector. We have a screen. Uh, we tried to, we did one movie at one Canon a day, and the only reason we didn't pay for the movie was because we did it jointly with the library. Um, there is major costs involved in showing movies. It's not as cheap. You cannot just take your projector <laughs> and your computer and show up with a movie. So how did they get away with it all in all? Through summer, where out of Dawson Creek? I don't know how they were doing that. That's have not to, and if they were older movies, it might be easier. It depends on the title, um, whether or not it's in video or. They were doing know, movies during COVID. On the yeah, side. I know. Yeah. I, know. Yeah. The yes. I don't know how they, if they, somebody might have had a license. I don't know. During the, um, but I know. Um, Link later. Yes. They may have not been doing it legally, and as a municipality, we can't do that. Yes. <laughs> yes. So maybe reach up to the, the new theater company and see if they, uh, they just took over Center Cinema and see if they want to partner with us. At least yeah. yeah. explore okay. that opportunity. And then the other thing I see on here too is we got that Sakunka movie that we paid for. Oh, it's not done yet. Well, as I say, well, it's done with Canada Day. Yeah, it's done. He needs to take pictures of Canada Day and then it It's done. Oh, is it done? Yeah, it's done. Oh, we're okay. waiting. We're waiting for a small agenda, non um, um, budget, <laughs> and he's going to come and present it. Because we kind of need to do it before July. <laughs> so we well, I had a plan for April, but yes. Okay, and then I want to ask him to come in in April. Yeah, his stipulation is that we gave him money. Now he can show it down at the police park. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see I that's, the other thing that would be kind of neat, just again thinking out loud with the 90th coming up, is there's a really cool video, I think it's on the museum's uh, YouTube page, mm -hmm. that shows the history of Bruce Coopy in the area. And it would be kind of neat to... Stuff like that, we can like show that. no problem. Yes. Yeah, because we kind of need to... It's like a 45 minute video, but it's actually really, really cool. Okay. I think it's a good idea. We'll all brainstorm. Yeah. Austin brings the popcorn. Yeah. Popcorn. Well, and Sam so had, had an idea anything? of yeah. showing it on the you down at the park in the pavilion. Yeah. The gazebo and has then a white it would be darker. Wall. Yeah, it might have might show up better. Yeah. You do. I do. 
Oh, Top which one? Top card. Is that the first time you've ever seen a big card? I know. Is the Poos Park open? Yes. Oh, yeah, because I see a little red car yeah. in there. They've been clearing it? Yeah. Well, they were driving it still. So we, didn't, well, we didn't close it, so. No. Yeah. There hasn't been any damage down there, so. Is that it? Uh, yeah. Uh, calendar's calendar. Uh, I don't have anything on the Councilor Smith, very close. Uh, nothing regional district. How's your budget going? Budget was good. Anything for food? They are the, on the budget line. They are looking at a getting an ambulance for our fire hall, and it's a work in process. That's what they're. It's just a budget item in order to pay for the work to research the information. What about um, the things that we go into with Area D and Dawson Creek? Give me an example. Um, the airport. Nothing has been discussed at the regional district meeting about the airport. Because okay. they usually have functions. And then there's a sheet that comes back to us and we decide what we should, if we're going to go in it or not. Uh, Councilor Hader. No. Mr. Wardell. I've got nothing for this week coming up. Uh, next Wednesday, I've got a stakeholders meeting coming up with the RCMP. Okay. That's everybody, folks. Yeah. I think Sam's got that. Yeah, I don't know if you guys got that. What is that date? Uh, it's, it was the 16th. It's the 16th at 10 a.m. And where's that? On Zoom. On Zoom. I'm teaching a course that day, so I have to actually call lunch at noon <laughs> at 10 o'clock so I can jump into that meeting and then go back to teaching my class. Again. Six, so can you I'll, I'll, be in, I'll be in that meeting. Oh, okay. Can you send me an invite to that center? And Council Reach is the way. And Mayor McKinney has nothing. And I want to make a motion to adjourn. Oh, my.